see them? On the internet. I figured you knew. Well, they must have had a million hits. Kids are downloading them and printing them like crazy. You mean you have copies? Well, no, I've, I've seen them around. Kids are showing them everywhere. You, you, you have to be mistaken. I mean, you, you can't be serious. You think I would joke about something like this? And get off it, Laura. Face it, you screwed up. Now you want to try and get all high and mighty with me? Well, try it on somebody else. You're in no position to tell me what to do. Here, let me just... Okay, it's even, right? Just mm. Oh, oh, oh. Be careful. Now you have to tie it. That's the hard part. You have to stretch it. Wow. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I can't imagine when I've had so much fun. <laughs> the party hasn't even started yet. Well, it looks to me like it has. <laughs> so you want to set it up right here? Yeah, absolutely. First absolute. thing she sees when she comes in. Absolutely. Okay. It is such a beautiful picture. You do wonderful work, sir. You should never doubt yourself again. Thank you. I like it when you do that. You should do it more often. I owe you, Bert. You know what? It's nice to help for a change. Excuse me. I think it's the food. The food. Hi. It's the food. Hi. 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 Thank you so much. Is that all our yeah. favorites? Yes. Yeah. We've got the Texas wings so fire. Papa Rich. Santos, potato salad, and a carrot cake. Mm -hmm. All my favorites. <laughs> Can you really help, Katie? Hey, we'll get him in the kitchen. Um, for the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Don't get it. Don't get it. <laughs> what about music? Uh, about a CD player. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, great. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's nice. It's, it's wonderful. gorgeous. Jim took it. You know, Laura's really blessed to have you in her life. <laughs> I'm the one who's blessed. I can't thank you enough. I appreciate your coming by, really. I know it's, uh, it's been know. a difficult time. We wouldn't have missed it. I now it's crucial to celebrate the good times, right? No yeah. matter how big or small. They're You're all here. Good. You know, Laura reminds me of me sometimes. You know, she got off to a rough start, but she fought her way back, and now she's better than ever. Oh. Hey, Brooke, does Laura have any idea about this party? Not a clue. Our girl is going to be surprised. <laughs> I really thought you knew. You found this on the internet? Hey, look, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rough on you or anything, but you don't always have the friend, but, you know, she's really bad news. How, how, how did you find this? Well, come on, there's sites on the net. Anybody can find them. You mean anybody can see this filth? Yeah, as long as you know how to sign on and know where to look. We, we have to erase it. I mean, we have to take it off there. Come on, you can't erase a website. We have to get it off, Tim. We can't unless we know who posted it. And as far as I know, that's an anonymous posting. Look, I'm not sure how, but I guess I can make a few calls and try and find out who posted it. Laura. <laughs> When's Laura getting home? Uh, not for a little while. She's, thank you, she's babysitting until, well, I'm not sure. Are you surprised? <laughs> well, I'd say so. Look, look. Hey, Brooke had that done by, from the newspaper article. Here, oh, come wow. on, come on, come on. This is such a turnaround. Well, you know, we were supposed to surprise you. <laughs> but you ended up surprising us. She <laughs> is full of surprises. No kidding. <laughs> I couldn't believe how fast she difference. Like with Dawn. This was a young lady who we thought was unreachable. After Laura's first day, Dawn came looking for Laura. Now they're inseparable. And this is a letter from Preston Griffith's mother. I can't thank Laura English enough for convincing my son to call me after so long. One phone call led my boy off the streets and back home where he belonged. When you see her, tell her I owe her more than a quarter. I owe her my family. Oh. There's more like this back at the office. Good work, Laura. Laura, Laura, we, we, we have watched you grow and, and blossom like, like a rose bush. There were a couple of thorns in there, but that's okay. It makes it more interesting. 
When you came to us for a job, we didn't even know if you had experience or not. We didn't care. We had a hunch uh, you wouldn't disappoint us. Yeah, and the customers love you as much as we do. You know, I know why those kids respond to you so well. You have, I don't know, just a way of relating to people, mm -hmm. no matter what the age. Right, Jamie? Yeah, she's cool for a big sister. Yeah. <laughs> she is. I don't know Laura as well as the rest of you, but I'm proud to say I was the first to photograph Pine Valley Citizen of the Week. Well, you better hold on to those negatives. It might be worth something someday. Yeah. <laughs> Honey? Honey? She's overwhelmed. Oh, gosh. With everybody making a fuss over her, I'd be embarrassed. Well, she'll be all right. Uh, everybody, let's eat. Yes. Come on, let's get to Wayne's. Yeah. Are you all right? I'm sorry. I just couldn't stop oh, myself. Shh. It's okay. Listen, I know we haven't connected that much since the accident, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been so distracted. It's all going to change. You I promise you. You don't ever have to apologize to me, ever. You're the best. And I'll never be able to thank you. Stop it. <laughs> Come on, now. You are the woman of the hour. Let's go. Come on. I don't deserve all this. Well, your humility is noted. You are queen for the day. Well, let's go and terrorize some of your subjects. <laughs> okay. Hey, how's the media goddess, huh? Are we still on for tonight, huh? Just you and me in a really nice private celebration? What do you say? Uh, Scott? Scott? Would, would you help Brooke get the punch bowl down his way up on the top shelf? Sure, Dad. Sure, sure. Right. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, let's crank up those tunes. So, New York's castaway is Pine Valley's most You lucky. lied to me. You are beneath scum. Oh, Laura, I thought we were past all that. We need to talk. Now. You actually had me believing you. All that talk about second chances. Well, I meant every word of it. You told me those pictures were out of circulation. They are. I gave you the negatives. What, after you posted them on the internet? Why? Why would you do that to me? Wait a minute. I, I didn't post anything on the internet. I barely know how to log on to them. Then how did they get on there? Well, what did you do? You, you sold them to some sleazy porno website? Laura, I swear, I don't have anything to do with this. Like hell, you don't. If you had never taken those pictures, none of this ever would have happened. Hey, you came to me, remember? Instead of rehashing this whole thing, what do you plan to do about it? There's nothing I can do. Well, you're a local celebrity now. The connection's going to be made sometime soon. It already has been. I got it earlier today. All right, so the connection has been made. There's only one thing you can do. You're gonna have to tell Brooke and your boyfriend. Oh, of course, if you do that, then the truth is gonna come out about how you killed your mother. You know that was an accident. I was only trying to burn the pictures. Oh, well, it's still arson. That old bag lady wasn't the only one to hear you fighting with your mother. Could be viewed as questionable. Is that some kind of a threat? Laura, I'm trying to help you out of this. I'll be perfectly honest. If I were you, I would lay low for a while. Until this thing blows over, until you know, the internet gets a new pinup girl. I couldn't. I couldn't disappear without Brooke and Scott coming after me. There may be a way. Listen, I'm glad you could come. Did you get some cake? Plenty. It's great cake. Good. Don't forget the early morning staff meeting tomorrow. I'll still get on your case if you're late. I know. <laughs> Thanks. Good night, Rave. Okay, good night. Are you good Thank oh, you so guys. much. Thank Thank you. Such a wonderful time. I guess I don't need to ask if you want to take any cake home. No, now. do I? <laughs> no more food. Hey, good job. Yeah. Right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you at holidays? Yeah. Okay. Thanks again. Mwah. 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 It's the Mwah. Laura, I am so proud of you. I always knew you were special. 
I had a really fun time at your party. Thanks. Oh. <sighs> Good, night. Good night, Esther. Good night, Stuart. Good night. Thank you so much for coming. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Bye. -bye. Good night. Jamie, my boy, want to help me in the kitchen? Come on. You mind helping? Oh, well, that's what I'm here for. Laura, hope you enjoyed your party. See you, Scott. Right. Are you leaving? No, I just wanted a hug, too. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's only a rib. So we still on for tonight? We'll help out your mom here and I'll head over to my dorm room. Yeah. Can't wait. Two. I pretended to be asleep because I knew Barbara wouldn't let me talk to her. Uncle Jack, that witch even blocked out all my calls, so now I can't receive any. I bet I can't call out either. They treat me like a prisoner. I might as well be with Mom in Franklin Hills. Is that where you were going? Is that why you were taking out your ID? Nobody cares about me, about, about what I want. They're all too busy with their own lives or what they think is best for me. They don't even ask me. It's, it's as if I don't exist. Don't exist? You're sitting right there, aren't you? Listen, I care. And your mother cares. As a matter of fact, I gave her that message you wanted me to give her, and uh, she sends one back. She says for me to tell you that she will see you sooner rather than later. How about that? They won't let me see her till I'm 18. Anything could happen by then. Honey, now, do you really think your mother's going to let them get away with that? But she's in prison. But when she's released, world watch out. Listen, the reason I stopped by, I, uh... I had an idea I wanted to bounce off you, see what you thought of it. How about when you get out of here, you come live with me? How would you like that? For real? Yeah, I mean, if you think you could stand me. Uh, there is one other condition, though, and that's that you promise me that you and I work together to get you well. What do you think? Thank you, Uncle Jack. You're welcome. You say, I promise. I promise. Very good. Lay down, let me tuck you in. I haven't done this before. I want to make sure you do it right. Okay. How's that? Is that good? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll see you soon. Tell Mom. I love her. I will. Take care of yourself. Look, somebody got that cake. I can't believe it. This is great. Mmm. Good Overloaded. Oh, you got too much here. Let me help you, okay? Oh. Here, give, give me this. Well, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't all right. worry. Don't Thank worry about you. me. Well, then I'll take that. All right. I didn't. No. No, why? Well, uh, Laura just said she got a call from one of the kids at the center, and she needed to go in and help her right away. And she's, I might be out all night, but I will call. So, okay. Tonight. Hmm. Well, I guess that's what makes Laura so special, huh? Always willing to go that extra mile. <laughs>